In this video, come with me as we visit the top thing to do in Cambodia, Angkor Wat. I did not realize if you buy tickets for Angkor Wat, they literally print your mug on your ticket. That is hilarious. It is half four in the morning and we are off to the famous Angkor Wat temple. We are doing Angkor Wat this morning and we've chosen to be crazy and get up at 4 a.m. to do this. It's one of the biggest religious monuments in the world. So I'm excited to show you guys in today's video kind of not tired we literally went to sleep at 8 p.m like we got into bed at 8 p.m which is the earliest i've been to bed in a very long time I'm holding a flashlight because it's freaking dark it's like really early right now to go into Angkor Wat, it's currently 37 dollars i believe it's 60 dollars online but 37 dollars and at the moment you can actually get a second day for free i think they're just trying to like encourage tourism at the moment um we booked through our hostel to get like a private like driver for the day it was like 18 dollars as well so he'll just pick us up and take us to each of the sites and it should be about six or seven hours in total so it's gonna be a big day let's do this probably can't see much right now because it's so dark but we are just waiting for sunrise at the big Angkor Wat temple and it honestly looks incredible right now the sun it's sort of like peeking over so it's all like a bit pink we've hired a tour guide for 15 dollars for the main one This morning is already incredible and I don't even think it's 6am. I am drinking a coffee whilst the sun rising. Whilst the sun is rising, I can't talk about it. I need some coffee. We are currently still watching the sunrise over this amazing temple. So this is the big bad boy, I will say like the main temple that you will see in the city of Angkor. And it actually took three decades to build. I can't describe to you how insanely beautiful this experience was. If you're coming to Angkor Wat, definitely come for sunrise. It's a bit of an ag to get up this early, but we have just, just literally stood here. I had a really nap coffee. There is a considerable amount more people than when we first got here. Angkor was the capital of the Khmer Empire, a mega city that supported 0.1 of the global population during 1010 to 1220. It served as the royal center for the Khmer dynasty, who were one of the most notable dynasties in Southeast Asia. The main site comprises of 1,000 buildings, which took over 37 years to build by 380,000 people and over 6,000 elephants. We are in the main palace part at the moment, which was used for praying until the king died and it was used to lay his body to rest. This part here is where they would wash in preparation for praying. My camera is very dirty right now. Ew. Seven pillows. These details here are so insane. How long do you think this would take to make? Oh. Uh, the whole temple, 37 years, but to be honest, we don't know how long. Oh, wow. And the guide was telling us earlier, like, these things were made out of one piece of stone, which they transported with boats and elephants. What the hell? The more time we spent in the temple, the more we got to appreciate how much thought and work was put into creating such an infrastructure. The fact that they were able to construct this without any modern day equipment whilst ensuring the temple always faces north is insane. As you can see here, our tour guide showing us with a compass. You see here, even here, you see the stone. Perfect, you see that? Wow, that's incredible. East, west and north. Always perfect. How did they do that? I'm blown away. I think one of my only words to describe this place today is incredible. I'm going to keep saying that all day because 
every corner this place is just blowing me away so our tour guide was telling me that it took 37 years to build this site 6,000 elephants and 380,000 people wow. it's leg day here in Angkor Wat we are going up the stairs <laughs> very high stairs but this looks so amazing um, I just this highlight of Cambodia already just noticed on my favorite view of this temple that there is sculptures at the top of the rock and the fact that they use like whole stones to carve this whole building out of I'm like how do they do that I can't even walk in a straight line without falling over and they have managed to do that that's incredible The echo room. This is the echo room. Well, there's not. What's this for? Uh... <laughs> so, there we go. That is the famous Angkor Wat Temple. What an incredible experience. That is already my highlight. This day is already my highlight of Cambodia. Like, just waking up at four was tough. But hey, we made it to Angkor Wat. Hey, hey, hey. So the next temple that we have been dropped off is the Bayon Temple and I forgot to mention these sites were used in the Tomb Raider movie and actually just like hearing that I'm like I need to re-watch that movie to like see these things. Holy crap, this is amazing and I can hear bats as well, wow. It almost looks like Star Wars. I think I'm actually lost for words this morning. That's why I'm struggling to come up with words because I just keep seeing things. I'm like, this is so incredible and amazing. I think there is bats in here. Can you hear that? I was just thinking, looking at all these sculptures, obviously they've carved this into each brick, but then they've had to line each brick up to, I don't know if I'm supposed to be touching that. It, it's slightly off, but it's also been like a thousand years. If you went to the Colosseum in Rome, that is all cornered off. You can't even go through certain places. And here you can just explore everywhere. I'm filming this video in November 2022, and I'm finding it's not as busy as it probably was pre-COVID. So if you're thinking about coming to Southeast Asia right now, definitely a good time to visit Cambodia and all the temples because there's not that many people here. Like the fact that we're walking around now and usually in places, you know, there'll be swarms of people. There's just like us. Okay, slightly delirious because we've been up since 4 a.m. And also very confused. It seems that maybe every one of these temples was featured in Tomb Raider, but the guy keeps saying Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider. So I was like, I thought the last one was the Tomb Raider temple, but now this one is apparently the Tomb Raider temple. Because I knew that we were getting up at 4 a.m. and I love food, I was like, I need to find some snacks. The best thing I could find in the supermarket was Julie's sugar crackers. I'm in a truth. What's the, what's the taste verdict? Julie's crackers. Tasty. Really? I mean, Julie's crackers smell good. Julie, I'm pretty sure that's not a Cambodian name, but hey. Or oh, maybe it is. Without the sugar, they would not taste very nice. Temple number three this morning is Ta Prom Temple. I think my favorite thing about this temple is that all the trees are like intertwined within the temples. This is definitely the one that was used in Tomb Raider. Did I mention this place was incredible? Okay, this is what I was talking about earlier, where you can see the trees have literally grown around the temple walls. And I think it's been a thousand years since these have been standing, maybe just like shy of 900 years. It's just crazy to think like the work that they put in to get these temples to this current situation. It smells ancient to me. It's like a really, weird smell though isn't it like it's like oh. i smelled it in the other ones i like it it's like fresh but it smells like history like i don't know what history smells like but it smells like this temple <laughs> this temple smells a thousand years old 
have officially hit a temple wall. I am hungry, I am tired, I've been up since 4am and I've only eaten Julie's crackers. That brings us to the end of the video guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. It's definitely been one of my highlights. If you're coming to Cambodia, you cannot not go to Siem Reap and visit all the famous temples in Angkor Wat. As you can see, this was a very early start, but I definitely recommend going at like 4 a.m. because just seeing the sunrise in the morning was so peaceful, and especially at the moment where there wasn't that many tourists around. We saw four temples in total, and I think that was enough. We basically spent the whole morning from like 4.30 a.m., and we got back around 11, 12, I think. Um, you can spend like longer or less time depending on how much you want to get out of the temples. You could even book a private tour guide for each temple, but that's going to take a lot longer. Personally, I found it really insightful to have the private tour guide for the main, you know, big temple, Angkor Wat. And then the other ones were just like really nice to look around. We like Googled some facts and everything. Make sure you hit subscribe because we are going to be ending the Cambodia series with one more video. We are off to Baton Bang in the next video. So thanks for watching guys. Take care and peace out. I tried to shake it, find a way to keep